Okay, so I'm gonna try and go over all the different papers I've gone through all the way back, okay? So, I'm not actually gonna go over the pro art. That's the one that started this all. That's a piece of crap, and we're not even gonna talk about it because you all know I don't like it. So, first we're gonna talk about differences. I like, I think I'm gonna end up going with the twin rocker. <clears throat> and I'll put the price sheets down below. But I, I really like their their cold press. Um, it's smooth enough that I can draw on it. Um, but it does really nice washes. It, you can pick up, you know, and get the color off of it. Um, I, th I think that's where I'm going to go. Now, I know that I should probably go with hot press in something, but um, these are my hot press difference. So this is Fabrino, this is Arches, this is Canson Heritage Hot Press, and this is Twin Rocker Hot, hot Press. Now it seems fairly consistent within all of the hot press that to pick up color is very, very hard. Uh, the Twin Rocker seems to be a little bit easier to actually be able to soak that, you know, if you make a mistake, you can wash it out. Um, I think they all gave nice washes. I think that the Fabrino really isn't very, very good, but um, this, these are actually pretty nice. Um, and it is, you know, the probably Arches is the smoothest of the of the three. Yeah, Arches is the smoothest. Well, the Canton might be close, but it's just hard to work with and I think I need to get better before I can really move over to hot press for my illustrations. Um, so like here's the, the difference between, there's a big difference in the rough texture between the Arches cold press and the Arches hot press. I mean the cold press is much rougher than their hot press but it, oh man, it is so nice to work with. Um, and yes the hot press does have the, the um, diatomes in it as well. So, and strangely, um, Canton Moulin de Rue, Roy, M-O-U-L-I-N-D-U-R-O-Y. It also had diatomes in it, but for, and it, it did beautiful stuff and it picked up really well and it gave very nice wash, but when you drew on it and then you painted over it, it's like it never dried. And I tried it um, on a different sheet and I drew something and I let it dry for, I don't know, an hour or two before I painted and it still ran. So it's not gonna work for my illustrations because I can't have my ink running on me when I'm painting over it. It's just not gonna happen. But for other work, I think it will be nice. Um, and I think that the, I haven't gotten the Heritage cold press yet. I need to do that yet, but it is nicer. I think the gradient to go with the, the Heritage versus the regular blue book. Um, the blue book is not hundred percent cotton in the Heritage, I believe is. So there's that to consider. Um, B paper was very, I like it. It's very odd how structured the, the fibers are. They're very symmetrical um, and, and it's gotta be machine made to do that. But it, it creates a very interesting texture um, when, you do, when you do the bleeds or um, wet and wet. And it is fairly smooth. I mean, it's a normal cold press smooth. Um, it's a little bit less rough than the arches. So that I will probably do some drawings on and, and work with that some more. So I'm happy with that one. Um, I also have the Strathmore. Let's, yeah, we'll talk about Strathmore real quick. I got the Strathmore 500 series and I got like a Strathmore Vision, which is a, um, it's just supposed to be a sketchbook watercolor book. Um, I don't believe it's 
It doesn't say on there that it's 100% cotton, so I would assume that it's not. But it did pretty good. I mean, it's, it's a decent wash. These are some water droplets that got on there, so. And it picked up fairly well. This was nice. Um, and it's, it's pretty smooth stuff. It's frustrating because the book, to be a sketchbook, the pages, you couldn't really use it as a sketchbook. You're going to tear out the page and then use it because you can't keep working throughout the book. Um, I mean, you're, you're not going to be painting like this. You can't keep doing page after page. You, you're just going to tear out the top page, which is fine. You know, that's fine, but it's not exactly actually a sketchbook. You know what I mean? You're not going to leave your pictures in there as you go. And the Strathmore 500 series, it worked pretty well. Um, pickup was, or cleanup was, was all right. Um, and this uh, gradient was really nice. And um, this has an interesting texture too to this. And I will get the SEM photos for you guys as well. But I think I'll do that. I'll add that on yet. But back to the Twin Rocker. Um, I like the cold press and I like the hot press. But like I said, I'll probably get some more cold press and play with that some more. The rough is, is definitely, most definitely rough. I mean, you can even see these fibers and how they're laid in there. Um, and, but I love how this looks. This is just so beautiful here. I mean, it's a very different, this is almost like it, but you don't see that in the hot press at all. And it, it is, it's much rougher than, than the arches, the rough is. Um, now, the regular paper, you can use for watercolor. I don't know that it's designed for watercolor, but I could paint on it. Um, I don't think you really want to paint too much because it, it did warp it. Well, it warped this too, but not as much. Um, the other thing to consider is it's definitely more of a rough. It's not going to be a cold press. It's going to be a rough press, basically. And it's cotton. Um, but if you wanted to have a different color to your background, that that could make for, for very interesting illustrations as well. It didn't pick up as well as as the other ones did, but it did all right. Um, I'm hoping I'm going to contact Twin Rocker and see if I can get a um, go to their place and actually do a tour and do some interviews and find out more about them because I'm I've, I've really enjoying their paper. Um, one second. I destroy my room. I'm working on the, this is the cold press and I just doodling on it. Um, ignore this. I messed up and tried to fix it and then it just got worse so I'll probably Photoshop that out but it, it has been nice so far to work with and I'm just starting mostly seeing how the ink goes down on it. Um, this was actually quite nice and fun to do. So, um, so I'm excited. I'm excited about, I think Twin Rocker is where I'm headed. I am going to try and get the Canson Heritage cold press and see what that's like. Um, that might be an option for me as well going forward. This, the B paper is nice, but it doesn't come in the sizes that I really need to use and it's not going to work for my illustrations, but it is nice for painting on. And the Fabrina or the Arches hot press. I'm still trying to work with hot press because it is so much smoother than the cold press, but it just it's harder to work with. It just sucks up the water so much faster that you don't have a whole lot of time to move things around like you do with the cold press. And so it's just and maybe maybe I'm just using it wrong, but it, I definitely have to work different with it than I do the cold press. So I think that just about covers it. And I will get you the SEM images as well. I have them done. I just have to print them out so that you can see them. So thank you. And um, if you're interested in supporting me, 
I have uh, Trashy the Bears out and I have a coloring book now out and um, for this week and next week there is a uh, sale that we're doing um, my publisher which is um, Pennant Publications Sorry, I can't spell. Pennant Publications. Um, we are doing we are doing a book sale to raise money for Riley's Children's Fund or their cheer fund, and we're going to be at Riley's on September nineteenth, two thousand seven. So if you buy a book through Pennant Publications, any book on their website, mine or anyone else's, twenty percent is going to go to the Riley Cheer Fund. Or if you can be at Riley on the nineteenth. I hope that you're not at Riley at the 19th. I'm gonna hope that, but if you are, you can stop by and we're gonna be reading our books and, and doing a book sale and um, I'm really excited about it. So so consider donating to the Riley's and you know, even if you don't wanna buy my book, just donate to Riley's. They're a really wonderful organization and very near and dear to my heart. So thank you and have a lovely day, bye.